Chapter 12, Part 5. Trapped air acts as a barrier to heat, moisture, and sterile and penetration. So it is important to remove as much air as possible from ceiling. To remove air traps, gently push the pouch's top and bottom layers together just prior to sealing. Note, applying too much pressure can damage the pouch. Paper plastic pouches must only be labeled on the plastic side or on areas specifically provided by the manufacturer. For example, on fold over paper, seal, paper flap seals. Writing on the paper side of the pouch will cause damage to the package, which may not be noticeable, but which may compromise the barrier protection. Use only pens approved for writing on the plastic surface and approved for sterilization methods to be used. Using the wrong type of pen, such as a ball, ballpoint pen, can damage packaging. Pouch, pouches must be closed, or closed using a tamper-evidence seal, so there is no danger of packages being opened and resealed for later use. After a sterile package is opened, it is, it is contaminated and may not be resealed or reused. Common ways that the paper, plastic, and polyethylene pack plastic packages can be used to meet specific packaging needs include wrap within a pouch sometimes usually to accommodate unique sterile presentation issues it is desirable to place the single wrap package into a pouch the initial wrap is done using the flat wrap packaging and wrapped method wrapping method it is not necessarily to seal the wrapped item the wrapped item is then inserted into the appropriately sized pouch the pouch should be sealed and labeled. Note, the manufacturer's instructions for use for both the peel pouch and the flat wrap must be reviewed to see if this process is approved. Using this method, if not approved by both manufacturers, could result in an unsterile product. Double pouches. While double pouching is not necessary for sterile maintenance, it may be required for a septic presentation of multiple items or for instruments having more than one part. Double pouches are prepared by placing the items into one plastic paper plastic pouch and sealing it. This pouch is then placed inside another slightly larger pouch and sealed. See figure 12.48. Care is needed when selecting the appropriate sequential sizing. The same rules apply for the inside peel pouch as for the pouching instruments. Leave about one inch, a quarter inch per side of the package. Never fold the inner pouch because this can interfere with air removal and sterile penetration. See figure 12.49. Place the smaller inner package paper side to paper side and plastic side to plastic side to help ensure each inch sterile penetration, drying, and content visibility. Flat wrapping techniques. Flat wrapping procedures are primarily used for large packages, but they, can make, they may also be used for smaller items. They involve use of either reusable woven textiles, linens, or disposable non-woven wraps. There are two methods of using flat wrapper packs. Sequential, the package is wrapped twice and is a package within a package. The term sequential indicates that the contents have been wrapped in sequence one after the other. This method is used for muslin, craft type paper, and single layers of SMS wraps. Simultaneous. The package is only wrapped once, but it requires a special double layer synthetic non-woven material bound on two or four sides. The advantage of sequential wrap is that it affords a second chance for sterile penetration. The disadvantage advantages Sequential wrap requires more time for wrapping and unwrapping. The advantage of simultaneous wrap is reduced labor costs, has reduced labor costs and increased output in the CS and OR departments. The disadvantage is that the absence of the second layer removes the second chance aspect during the septic opening and presentation. There are also two techniques for wrapping packages and both are used with the sequential and simultaneous wrap methods. Square fold. This is also called the inline or parallel fold. 
This is most frequently used for larger packs and instrument trays. Envelope fold. This is more commonly used for individual items, small packs, and most instrument sets. Regardless of the packaging system used, flat wrappers should be inspected for holes and tears prior to use. Wraps must be free from holes, tears, abrasions, or any other devices that, allow, that could allow bacteria to enter the package. CS technicians are responsible for creating a package that will protect the contents, allow for sterilization, and allow for a septic opening from flat sheets and wrapping materials. This requires that every package be created according to specific protocols. The following photos illustrate the proper techniques for sequential and simultaneous wrappings in both the envelope and square style. Figures 12.50 through 12.60 illustrate sequential wrapping techniques using the envelope style. In this method, flat wraps are applied one after the other in sequence. Step one, sequential envelope. With the sequential envelope, the wrap is placed on the table to form a diamond shape. The item to be wrapped is placed in the center of the wrap, parallel with the edge of the table. Step two, sequential envelope. The lower corner is brought up to the completely cover the contents and the tip is folded back onto itself to form a flap. This flap may be used later to assist with opening the pack aseptically. Sequential envelope step three. Fold the left corner over the contents and fold the tip back to the form to form a flap. Ensure the entire tray pack is covered with this fold. Sequential envelope step four. Fold the right corner over the left fold and fold the tip back onto itself to form a flap. Ensure the entire tray pack is covered with the, this fold. Figure 12.54. Step five, sequential envelope step five. Bring the top corner down over the contents and tuck the corner under the right and left folds, leaving a small tab visible for easy openings. Sequential envelope step six. The second wrap is applied by placing the single wrapped item into the center of the remaining wrap and then repeating the wrap sequence to form a package within a package. The lower corner is brought up to cover the single wrapped item and the tip is folded back on itself to form a flap. Sequential envelope step seven. Fold the left corner over the, over the single layer item and fold the tip back to form a flap. Ensure the entire tray or pack is covered with this fold. Sequential envelope step eight. Fold the right corner over the left fold and fold the tip back onto itself to form a flap. Ensure the entire tray or pack is covered with this fold. Sequential envelope step nine. Bring the top corner down over the single wrapped item. Sequential envelope step 10. Tuck the corner under the right and left folds, leaving a small tab visible for easy opening. Sequential envelope completed. As seen in figure 12.60, the package is then secured with an indicator tape to complete the wrap process. Figures 12.61 through 12.70 illustrate sequential wrapping techniques using the square style. This method is primarily used for large packs. Sequential square step one. The edge of the wrapper is placed parallel with the table. The instrument tray is placed square in the center of the wrapper parallel with the edge of the wrapper. Sequential square, step two. The edge of the raptor, wrapper is folded over the top of the contents. The edge is then folded over itself to form a cuff. This cuff will facilitate a septic opening of the pack when used. Ensure the entire tray or pack is covered with the fold. Sequential square, step three. 
the upper edge of the wrap is brought down over the contents and folded back on itself to form another cup overlapping the original cup. Ensure the entire tray or pack is covered with this fold. Sequential square step four. The left edge of the wrapper is folded over the pack and back onto itself to form a cuff. Ensure the entire tray or pack is covered with this fold. Se sequential square step five. The right side of the wrapper is folded over the pack, overlapping the previous fold and folded back to form a cuff. Ensure the entire tray is packed, is covered with this fold. Sequential square step six. The second wrap is applied by placing the single wrap item into the center of the wrap and repeated the steps performed for the first wrap to create a package within a package. The edge of the second wrapper is folded over the single wrapped item. The edge is then folded back over itself to form a cuff. Ensure the entire pack is covered with this fold. Sequential four, fold step seven. The upper edge of the wrap is brought down over the single wrapped item and folded back onto itself to form another cuff overlapping the original cuff. Ensure the entire tray pack is covered with this fold. Sequential square step E. The left edge of the wrapper is folded over the pack and back onto itself to form a cuff. Ensure the entire tray pack is covered with the fo this fold. So sequential step Sequential square step nine. The right side of the wrappers is folded over the pack, overlapping the previous fold and folded under. Ensure the entire tray or pack is covered with this fold. Sequential square completed. The package is secured with indicator tape. Simultaneous wrapping uses two layers of synthetic non-woving materials such as SMS bound on two or four edges. Since the material is already double layered, the contents are only wrapped once. Both methods are acceptable, although one may be more appropriate for specific situations. In figures 12.71 through 12.77, illustrate simultaneous wrapping techniques used the envelope style. In this method, flat wraps are applied together. Simultaneous envelope step one. With the envelope sim simultaneous technique, one application of simultaneous wrap is placed on the table surface in diagonal or diamond format. Sim simultaneous wrap is two sheets of wrap bounded together. Center the instrument tray between the right and left edges of the wrap. Simultaneous envelope step two. Bring the bottom corner of the wrap up and over to completely cover the instrument tray. Fold the tip back onto itself to form a flap. This flap is later used to assist in opening the pack aseptically. Simultaneous envelope step three. Fold the left corner over the contents and fold the tip back to form a tab. Ensure the entire tray pack is covered with this fold. Simultaneous envelope step four. Fold the right corner over the left fold and fold the tip back into onto itself to form a tab. Ensure the entire packer tray is covered with this fold. Simultaneous envelope step five. Bring the top corner down over the over the contents and fold it toward the body. Simultaneous step six. Tuck the corner under the right and left folds. A small tab may be incorporated for easy opening. Ensure the wrap is not too tight or too loose. Either way, compromises the effective sterilization of the package contents. Note, the wrap package has been turned from the previous slide image to allow for better visualization of the tip. Simultaneous envelope completed. The package is then secured with indicator tape to complete the wrap process. Figures 12.78 through 12.83 illustrate simultaneous wrapping techniques using the square style. This method is primarily used for large packages. Simultaneous square step one. 
With the simultaneous square technique, place one application for simult of simultaneous wrap. That is two sheets of wrap specially bound together on the table surface in a rectangular position or square shaped format. Center the instrument tray between the left and right edges of the wrap. Simultaneous square step two. The edge of the wrapper is folded over the top of the contents covering the entire item. The edge is then folded back over itself to form a cuff. This will facilitate a septic opening of the, of the pack when used. Simultaneous square step three. The upper edge of the wrap is brought down over the contents and folded back onto itself to form another cuff overlapping the original to ensure the entire pack is covered with this fold. Simultaneous square step four. The left edge of the wrapper is folded over the pack and folded over itself to form a cuff. Ensure the entire tray or pack is covered with this fold. Simultaneous square step five. The right side of the wrapper is folded over the pack overlapping the previous fold. Ensure the entire tray or pack is covered with this fold. Simultaneous square completed. To complete the wrap process, the final fold is tucked under and secured with indicator tape. Choose the properly sized wrap for either method. The wrapper must be large enough to completely contain the contents without leaving excess material that could inhibit sterilant penetration and release. Wrappers must be snug, but not so tight as to impede the sterilant entry exit. If the wrapper will also be used to create a sterile field, it must be sufficient size to extend at least inches below the edge of the surface being covered. End of chapter 12, part 5.